Hi everyone. Today I'm going to cover a video on how to issue Form 16A, what Form 16A is. I'll cover all the details and show you step by step as to how to issue this Form 16A. Ideally, this is very simple for somebody who does it on a regular basis, but for somebody who does it for the first time could face multiple issues. I faced a lot of them myself, so I'll try to cover how to resolve all of those issues. So let's start. So first of all, uh, let me cover what is Form 16A? So it is a certificate of deduction, right, which is issued on deduction of tax. So the reason why you are watching this video is you have deducted tax for somebody. For example, in my case, you know, I was buyer of a property and I had to deduct the tax for a seller. So I have to issue a certificate to the seller that, yes, I have deducted your tax and I have deposited to the government. And it is mandatory to issue this certificate for taxpayer. So you were a taxpayer, right? You deducted tax on behalf of the uh, seller or the other person and you deposit it to the government. So it is mandatory that you, for example, have to issue this certificate to the other person. Now, what are the steps? Like I said, they're very simple. You just log into the traces, go to download ta tab, select form 1616A, enter the details on click go. But it is not as simple. You will face some hiccups that I'm going to cover in this video as to where to go, what to do. Just a simple thing on what is the difference between Form 16 versus Form 16A. A lot of people get, you know, think about what is the difference. So Form 16 is usually used for salaried people, while Form 16A is used for non-salaried income people. So that is, uh, you know, what is the basic difference. But both the Form 16 and 16A, they assist the taxpayer in uh, submitting the tax return. So you deducted the tax on somebody. Now, basis the form that you issued 16A, they will be able to, 16 or 16A, they will be able to submit their income tax returns and they're very crucial for submitting the income tax returns and that is where these are mandatory if you've deducted tax. Now, first of all, what you have to do is you have to go and log into uh, the Traces website. I will be covering another video on how to go ahead and register as a new user. But for now, I am assuming you are registered already and you have to go here, log in with your user ID, enter your TAN, enter the text and log in. Now, what you have to do is go to download section as soon as you log in. Click on the form 16A and then when you come into downloads, what you have to do is you have to enter the financial year and the quarter for which you deducted the tax for the person already. What is the form in which you filled the file the return? So this also I have covered a separate video on how to fill this form 27Q. You have to enter the PAN of the deductee here. You know, you might get confused. It's your PAN or deductee's PAN. So for the person for whom you want to deduct tax is what you have to enter here. And as soon as you click add, you see this gets Gets added here and uh, if you want to add multiple pans for which you want to issue uh, form 16a you just keep on clicking add and then you click on uh, go here now once you've clicked on go it says what are the details that you want to be printed on the form 16a it is your name your father's name you know what is your uh, what are you you know designated as i mentioned self and then what date and the place and then click on just submit now, when you click on submit, what it asks you is for an authorization code to generate this form 16A. You don't have this authorization code. So what you have to do is fill the following details and then you will be able to generate authentication code and then proceed to issuing form 16A. So now what those details are, you know, what you have to do is you have to enter the token number. So when you paid your, uh, you know, filed your 27Q return, you got a token number or a provisional receipt number. So this is that number that you have to enter here. So if you see here the form 27Q and the receipt number when you file the original form 27Q. So please note you cannot do these steps until and unless you've paid TDS and you file the TDS return under form 27Q, only then you will be able to proceed with this. So once you enter the token number, it asks you for other details. Now this is the, the return information. Now this is the TDS information. So the Chalan receipt number through which you paid the TDS on what date you submitted the Chalan serial number and amount. This all is there on when you paid the TDS and you downloaded the Chalan. So you have to enter all of these four details that are mandatory. 
So after entering these, now what you have to enter is the pan of the deducti that was in the statement and the total amount that you deposited. So if there are multiple pan combinations, you have to enter all pan and amount combinations. Once you've entered all these three information, click on proceed. What it will say is that are you sure you have less than three pans? This is in case you have less than uh, three pans in the voucher. If not, you enter all of those. Otherwise, you will get this message and you can click on uh, OK, it, should, it is fine. Now, once you do that, you will see an authorization code is generated. You can copy this code, save it from here if you want to come back later, or you can simply click on proceed with transaction. What it will do is it you will not have to enter this authorization code again. It will directly take you to form 16A transaction that you were doing. So as soon as you click there, you know, it says your request for form 16A has been submitted. This is your request number and this file will be available in download section. Now, what you have to do is go to downloads, click on requested downloads. And then what you will see here is you can click on view all, right? Once you click on view all, you will see all the forms that request that you submitted. This is the latest one for form 20 for form 16A that I had uh, requested. Then you select this or click on this. This gets highlighted in dark blue color. And then what you have to do is click on HTTP download. What it will do is it will download this file in a zip folder in a zip format. You have to just click on save and save it to your machine. Now, what you have to do is you have to extract this file, right? This is compressed file. You can extract and then what it asks you is for a password. It says the file is password protected. Now the password, what is the password for this file? If you go back to the TDS or traces screen, you so you see a you know a message here, click here for password related help. And this screen pops up. So it says that the password for your form 16A is, uh, you know, TAN for deductor. So you, you have to go back, enter your TAN, right, of the deductor, which is your TAN, and click on OK. So once you do that, you see a text file is generated. But this is not the form 16A that you want to issue to the seller. You actually need a PDF file that is to be generated. So now what you do is you go to downloads, you click on requested downloads. What you will see here is a message that you might not have seen earlier. So I had a hard time finding where to download this, how to convert this text into PDF. So what you have to do is it says there is a, a utility traces generation utility that converts this text file into PDF. So you have to click here to download this facility, right? And then what you have to do is enter this verification code and save this file, you know, the latest version of this converter facility on your machine and then you have to extract that because it gets downloaded in a zip file once you do you will see these two files one is a dot bat file or windows batch file and the other one is this executable jar file so once these both files are generated once you've extracted sometimes they say you need winzip for this so if you don't have a generic extractor you can download winzip it gives you a free trial online for 30 days uh, so once you do that you have to click on uh, the converter you know the executable jar file and what it will do is it will open this screen now what you have to do is remember we are doing this to convert the text file into pdf so what it says is select your form 16 a zip file so you have to click on browse here right and what you have to do is the zip file that you had downloaded not the extracted text file so the zip file that you had downloaded you have to select that and click on ok and then what it says is you have to enter the password for the input file, the same password, the TAN of the director that we saw earlier. And then you have to save it to a folder. So click on this save to folder and choose a folder. For example, I have you know, saved it on desktop. Uh, you can ignore this uh, P12 or digital signature files. If you have a digital signature P12 file, maybe you can choose that. But this is okay without the digital signature also. Now what you'll see is another problem. Once you choose this file, I did not see a proceed or cancel button here. It was just this form. Now I had a very hard time as to the soft. I had to uninstall the software. I had to open close multiple times. I tried to change the file multiple times. Nothing helped. But what happens is if you in case encounter this issue where you do not see the proceed or cancel button, it is an issue with the resolution of your machine. What you have to go is go into system and display settings for your uh, machine. Unless if you're on a Mac, steps could be different. But you go to system display. If you see what solved the problem for me was uh, changing the scale of the resolution. So country, it is 150%, which is recommended. 
or you could also change the display resolution if you open this drop down there will be multiple resolutions that you could try what i did was i changed the scale from 150 to 175 and what you see here is i started seeing this proceed and cancel button that i was not seeing earlier so once you've done that you know you just you've selected the file you've entered the password and you've selected where the file should be saved just click on proceed it says do you want to continue without digital signature it is okay without digital signature if you have you can select that p12 file otherwise you can click on yes what it gives you another message is that it has started generating the pdf and once you've done that it says you know that your PDF is generated successfully. It will be saved to this same folder that you chose earlier. What you can do is you can go open the form 16A that has been downloaded. And if you see it, it will show, you know, I'll give you a certificate number and it will show your deductor address. It will show deductive address. It will show your PAN, you know, your TAN, PAN of the deductive for whom it is issued. All of those other details in the form 16A. I hope you find this useful. In case if you do, please like, comment, share and subscribe as that gives motivation to make other uh, videos. And I've made already other videos on, you know, uh, different things related to uh, issuing like like Form 27Q or um, how to deduct TDS, how to pay late filing fees for TDS, you know. So you can go and watch those if you uh, think any of those would help. Thank you so much for uh, watching.